This is the Siachen Glacier, 20,000 feet up in the Himalayas, the scene of pristine beauty and breathtaking views. But on April 3, 1984, the silence of this place was shattered by the thunder of the Indian artillery and machine gun fire. The Indian Army launches Operation Meghdoot to capture the Siachen Glacier, a 76-kilometer stretch of mountainous land near the Pakistan border. But wait a minute. This place is barren and inhospitable for any human settlement. Even breathing here is difficult. Then why is India and Pakistan fighting for this wasteland? Let's find out. Following the UN-mediated ceasefire in 1949, the borderline between India and Pakistan was demarcated up to the point NJ9842 at the foot of the Siachen Glacier. The largely inaccessible terrain beyond this point was not demarcated. Since this place is largely desolate and inhospitable to human life, it was forgotten. But by the 1970s, the US maps prepared by the National Geospatial Intelligence Agencies showed Siachen well within the Pakistan border. Moreover, the Pakistani government was granting permission to mountaineers climbing the peaks in the area. Pakistan was covertly claiming the area for themselves. The area in dispute is 2,600 square kilometers. The Saltro Ridge lies to the west of the Siachen Glacier. Along the Saltro mountain range is the actual ground position line. Lying on the edge of the Saltro Ridge are the heights called the Gyongla, Bilafonla, Siala and Indrakal. If the Indian army needs to call the Siachen as a part of their territory, then these heights have to be climbed and occupied before Pakistan does. But climbing these tall icy mountain peaks was no ordinary business. Here the temperature goes down to minus 86 degrees Celsius during winters with the icy 300 km per hour blizzards. An Indian Army soldier now will have to transform himself to a mountaineer. Mountaineering needs specialized clothing like the waterproof jackets and pants, ponkos, balaclavas, special mountain boots with crampons, etc. All this equipment was available for sale only in European countries. Having become aware of US military maps and the permit incidents, in 1977, an Indian colonel named Narendra Kumar persuaded his superiors to allow him to lead a 70-man team of climbers and porters to the glacier. They came back in 1981, climbed several peaks and walked the length of Siachen. When the Pakistan army came to know of the Indian military expeditions in the Siachen, they realized they need to secure Siachen before India does. At their army headquarters in Rawalpindi, Pakistani generals began planning an offensive called Operation Ababil. In preparation for the operation, the Pakistan Army then ordered Arctic weather gear from a London-based manufacturer. This vendor was also supplying to India. Soon India got a wind of things and in turn ordered 300 outfits. On 3rd April 1984, the Indian Army launched Operation Meghdoot. The men of the Ladakh Scouts and the Kumau Regiment climbed and occupied Bila Found La on 13th April and Siala on 17th April 1984 with the help of the Indian Air Force. The Indian Air Force used MI-17 and MI-8. HAL Chetak helicopters carried provisions and supplies to these posts. By 13th April 1984, approximately 300 Indian troops were dug into the critical peaks and passes of the glacier. By the time the Pakistani troops managed to get there, they found that the Indian troops had already secured the three major mountain passes of Siala, Bilafondla and Gyongla. The operation resulted in India gaining 70 kilometers along the Siachen Glacier and all its tributary glaciers, as well as the three main passes of the Saltro Ridge immediately west of the glacier, thus giving India the tactical advantage of holding higher grounds. In 1987, Pakistan Army under the then Brigadier General Pervez Musharraf launched an all-out assault and initially managed to capture a few high points. One of the biggest success achieved by Pakistan in this period was a seizure of a mountain outpost overlooking Bilafond La. This post is called the Kuwait Post. It was located at an altitude of 20,500 feet. It was extremely difficult to attack as it was surrounded by 457 meters of high ice walls at an inclination of 80 to 85 degrees on three sides. It was very difficult for the attackers to climb up the peak without getting noticed by the Pakistani soldiers stationed at the top. When the Indian Army tried to take this post for the first time, they were identified by the Pakistanis and were fired upon with light machine guns. 
10 Indian soldiers lost their lives on a single day. Undeterred, India launched Operation Rajiv on 23rd June 1987. The team led by Captain Bana Singh captured the Pakistani bunker on 26 June 1987. Bana Singh was awarded the Paramvi Chakra in 1988 for his courage during the operation. India renamed the Kuwait post to Bana Top to honor the contribution and the bravery of Bana Singh in the capture of the peak. India has succeeded in capturing the Siachen, but the cost of maintaining a permanent base there is very expensive. No less than 1,000 Indian soldiers have died since 1984 while serving in the world's highest, deadliest and costliest battlefield. Most of the soldiers died due to hostile climatic conditions. The temperature can dip to minus 60 degrees Celsius in the glacier spread over 76 square kilometers. Threat from avalanches, crevasses, blizzards and frosty winds is as constant as one's breath and heartbeat. Low level of oxygen are a constant cause of concern. The major cause of deaths at this high altitude battlefield of around 24,000 feet is hypothermia. The condition sets in when the human body loses heat faster than it can produce, causing a dangerously low body temperature. Besides, the glacier causes frostbite, whiteouts and hypoxia where the human tissues are starved of oxygen. The Indian Army today maintains at least 108 forward military outposts and artillery observation posts in that area. Organizing logistics in this high altitude battlefield is the biggest challenge. The conditions are so severe that even choppers have to exceed their service ceilings to ensure our Javans remain fighting fit and essential supplies reach them on time. The cost to maintain this battlefield in such a hostile environment is prohibitively expensive. According to an estimate, India spends around rupees 6 crore a day or around 2,190 crore per year to ensure that Siachen remains peaceful. Over the years, due to deep costs involved in maintaining this high altitude post, both India and Pakistan have began to rethink on whether to continue with maintaining this post. But things have got worse for India, when on 5th May 2020, India and Chinese troops clashed at the Galwan Valley. More than 20 Indian soldiers and about an equal number of Chinese died in the hand-to-hand -hand fight that lasted a few hours. After this incident, both Chinese and Indians began deploying troops and equipment in large numbers. The Indochina border is vast, about 3,000 kilometers long, and maintaining this border with a large number of troops has skyrocketed the cost for India. Well, this is a big topic and deserves another video. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.